Hi, I'm Liz Schrum for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. Just ahead, Tom Still talks about Wisconsin's health information technology industry and why it will continue to grow. And Brian Burke, Managing Director of Sun Mountain Capital, gives an outside perspective on state venture capital funds. Now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for mid-June. Rising, Milwaukee's economy. Two recent reports reflect good news for Wisconsin's largest city. The latest Manpower Group Employment Outlook survey found that 26% of the companies interviewed in the metro area plan to hire more employees from July to September, while only 5% expect to cut positions. Meanwhile, home sales in the metro market increased about 15% in May compared with the same month a year ago. And falling, the ethanol boom. The Utica Energy Ethanol Plant, west of Oshkosh, along with its grain drying facility, Grain Elevator and other assets will be sold to the highest bidder later this summer after the operation collapsed under the weight of more than $30 million of debt. The sale is symbolic of the boom and bust nature of the ethanol industry, which struggled in 2012. Factors included severe drought, record corn prices, and declining consumption of gasoline. However, other ethanol plants in Wisconsin appear to be holding their own. And now, here's Tom Still with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. Like it or not, healthcare reform is here to stay. But the healthcare crisis in America is far from over as providers and consumers alike strive to control costs and improve quality. Among the changes well underway is wider adoption of health information technologies to help patients, providers, insurers, and medical practitioners come to grips with those challenges. That's an opportunity for many emerging businesses in Wisconsin which remains on the forefront of the revolution in health IT. At the recent Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Conference, as well as the Digital Healthcare Conference, dozens of companies with ideas for improving healthcare quality, safety, access, compliance, and accountability presented their business plans and met with investors and potential customers. The anchor tenant in the state's healthcare IT shopping mall is Epic Systems in Verona, which continues to grow in revenues and employees. However, there are many smaller companies with bright ideas, and more than a few of them have attracted former Epic workers. These include companies such as Nordic Consulting, Forward Health Group, Welby, Health Finch, Moxie Health, KO Technology, and many more. Investors in the upper Midwest and beyond see Wisconsin as a state with an emerging health IT cluster. They also view Wisconsin as a laboratory for innovation because of its combination of clinical expertise, insurance industry know-how, and health IT companies that can help put the pieces together. The Affordable Health Care Act has caused no small amount of uncertainty for many people. But out of uncertainty sometimes springs opportunity, and Wisconsin is poised to help. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Brian Burke, Managing Director of Sun Mountain Capital in Albuquerque, New Mexico. White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Brian Burke, Managing Director of Sun Mountain Capital in New Mexico. We caught up with him at the recent Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Conference in Middleton. Sun Mountain Capital focuses on managing in-state programs, such as the Fund of Fund programs in Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. How are those programs working, Brian? You know, we've learned over the years that by correctly structuring and managing a program, they can be very, very successful. On the one hand, uh, they provided very substantial job creation and job growth for these states. We've seen thousands of high-paying, skilled uh, jobs created through these programs. On the same token, they're actually providing a very positive return for investors, so they're working on both dimensions. You're a Wisconsin native, and you've stayed in touch with the state. Do you think there are investment-ready companies here in Wisconsin? Uh, absolutely. You know, when, we, uh, when I come back to Wisconsin, I'm always surprised at the quality of entrepreneurs and technology that we find here. And I firmly believe there are a number of companies, ranging from early stage startups that have university technology to establish companies that could all use additional growth equity or growth capital. And is the Wisconsin legislature on the right track in its efforts to create a state-based fund of funds? 
You know, from our perspective, you know, we look at Wisconsin and we think it has all the raw materials to be successful. Terrific research, a whole cadre of companies where you have skilled management, and high quality of life. And these are the essential elements that you find in states where the other programs have been successful. So I think they're doing the right thing. Uh, hopefully we'll see additional progress in the near future. Thanks, Brian. And thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by BMO Harris, White Hirschbeck Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Schrum of Talent Foot Executive Search. See you next time.